A Canadian naval officer is facing grave and rare accusations tonight. Charges of giving up information sensitive to this country to foreigners. Royal Canadian Navy Sub-Lieutenant Jeffrey Paul DeLille is thought to have leaked the secrets. Tom Murphy has been digging into this story all day long and he leads our coverage tonight. Tom. Peter, this is the court document that outlines the charges. It's believed to be the first charge of its kind under a section of the post 9-11 Security of Information Act. This is Jeffrey Paul DeLille, accused spy. A senior official tells CBC he's a naval intelligence officer who would have had top secret clearance, maybe higher. Charged with passing secrets to a foreign entity. It's not clear who. This is a very serious case. This whole episode is of grave concern, says this former Canadian intelligence officer. He says people in DeLille's position have a lot of access to information. Technical information, strategic plans, and again, let's remember one thing, that Canadian uh, uh, Canadian forces and Canadian uh, defense is intertwined with our allies. So anything they find about us, they somehow find about others as well. We're told that DeLille worked at a naval intelligence facility in Halifax that monitors ship movements in the North Atlantic as part of NATO. And the RCMP claims he was giving information to someone as far back as July 2007 and as recently as last week. DeLille lives in a nondescript suburban home. His neighbors say they don't know him very well. Juno Katsoya says even though these charges are rare, espionage isn't. Matter of fact, some expert goes as far as saying that we are probably the country in the Western world that is the most spied on. So this is only the tip of the tip of the tip of the iceberg. In a statement tonight, RCMP Commissioner Bob Paulson said, the RCMP is not aware of any threat to public safety at this time from this situation. This investigation demonstrates that Canada is not immune to threats posed by foreign entities wishing to undermine Canadian sovereignty. DeLille will spend the night in jail. He'll be back in court tomorrow where more information may come to light. If convicted, DeLille could face a maximum penalty of life in prison. Peter. Tom Murphy in Halifax tonight. Thanks, Tom.